Welcome to the next episode of our classic and vintage series where we take old traditional quilt blocks and make them fresh for today. Today we're making the Tree of Life quilt block using the Freedom Collection by Sweetwater for Moda Fabrics. This is a free block pattern at Fat Quarter Shop. And if you want to make this into a bigger quilt, you can download a low price pattern at Fat Quarter Shop also. So let's get started. So the first step in this block is actually my favorite because I love to make half square triangles and I love to cheat. So you're going to take a background fabric and your dark fabric, place them right sides together. We're starting with a 10 inch square here. I'm going to use triangles on a roll of paper and I'm going to use the one and a half inch finish size. And you're going to cut 16 squares. So you're just, on this one, you're going to do four by four, cut directly on your line. The reason I use triangles on a roll is um, I've been using it forever. And it's a really nice thin paper, so when you pull it off later, it's not going to rip. And I love to use washi tape to just seal it, because when you pull the washi tape off, it doesn't ruin the paper. And I have like 20 of these rolls and I just have them in a bucket in my house. Really nice and easy storage. So from there, you're going to place pins kind of in the center areas. I like to always have it nice and pinned because you're going to get more accurate results. I'm going to use RFL thread and I'm going to just stitch directly on this dotted line. And I'm going to use a really low stitch length, like a 1.5. So let's go sew. Now we're going to cut our half square triangle paper, so cut directly on the line to get a really nice clean result. So now we have everything pieced and I'm going to give you some tricks. When the paper's still on, I'm going to press on the wrong side of the fabric. I'm going to crease and pull and it's going to just come right off. And then to press, you're going to set your seam again with a nice hot iron and you're just going to press to one side. You're going to trim your dog ears off and you're going to make a total of 30 half square triangles. So now we're ready to build our tree. You're going to assemble six of your half square triangles and three fabric I squares. Now when you're making this block, triple, triple, triple check your pieces because you don't want to sew these tiny seams together and then have to unpick them because especially since they're so small. So just make sure it's lined up. You're going to stitch a quarter inch seam, press, and then you're going to stitch these seams. You're going to make one of these and this is your tree top unit. On our next unit, we're going to use nine half square triangles and this one's a little bit easier because all the triangles go the same way. You're going to stitch the same way and you're going to make two tree leaf units. So at this point in the block, you might be just getting half square triangle overload, but just stay focused. Lay all your pieces out and triple check. You're going to sew these two together and these two together, press. Then you're going to stitch and you're going to have your right corner tree unit and you're going to make one. You're going to use the same technique that you just did, except you're going to go sideways and you're going to check your placement. And you're going to make one left corner tree unit. Now we're going to start working on our trunk. You're going to take your fabric G squares. You're going to draw a line from corner to corner with a friction pin. The ink in the friction pin is going to disappear with heat later when you iron it. Place your fabric G square on the top right corner of your fabric B square. Stitch directly on the line. Trim a quarter inch away and press. Then you're going to have this unit. You're going to do the same thing on the bottom left. Stitch, trim, and press. And you're going to have one 
partial trunk unit. Now we're going to add a fabric C square to the top left corner of your trunk. Stitch on the line, trim a quarter inch away, and you've got your trunk unit. So I know this block has a kajillion pieces, so just keep going and you can get it. Add a fabric D square to the bottom left of a fabric F rectangle. Stitch, trim, and press. And you're going to do the same thing, just slightly different position. And you're going to have your right side unit and your left side unit. Yay, we're on our last unit. We're going to make a half square triangle and it's just going to be slightly different than before. You're going to take a fabric G and a fabric C square, put them right sides together and stitch directly on the line. Once you stitch on the line, you're going to trim a quarter inch away and you're going to have your root unit. So you made it. You made all these little tiny pieces and we're going to turn it into a block. Now this is where I messed up a couple of times twisting the block. So again, triple, triple check because at this point you're probably tired. So just make sure you've got everything placed exactly how you want it. And then you're just going to stitch these together like this. Press according to the pattern. And then you're going to add these and ta-da! Your Tree of Life block is done. So this quilt obviously takes a lot of effort, but as you can see in the quilt behind me, the effort really pays off. So if you love this episode, definitely like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Hashtag Tree of Life Quilt.